Welcome to a proof of the theorem. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. This is usually one of the first proofs after the corresponding angle postulate has been given. Remember this postulate tells us that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, the corresponding angles are congruent. Remember a postulate is not proved, it is assumed to be true. So we can use this to prove the given theorem. Let's take a look at a two column proof. Here we're given that line L and M are parallel and line T cuts L and M. We want to prove angle three is congruent to angle six. Notice angle three and angle six are alternate interior angles. Before we do the proof, we should think about our plan to show that these two angles are congruent. Remember the corresponding angle postulate tells us that we can assume corresponding angles are congruent if we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. So if we could somehow show that angle three is congruent to angle two, notice angle two and angle six are corresponding angles and therefore angle three would also be congruent to angle six. And since angle two and angle three are vertical angles, they are congruent, so that's gonna be the outline of our proof. Let's go ahead and start by stating the given information. We know that L is parallel to M with transversal T. And again, this was given. Next, we're gonna state that angle three is congruent to angle two because they are vertical angles. And we also know that angle two is congruent to angle six by the corresponding angle postulate. Or we could also state the actual postulate that says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. And notice how we can now connect step two and step three because we listed this in the correct order. If angle three is congruent to angle two and angle two is congruent to angle six, we can conclude that angle three is congruent to angle six by using the transitive property. Notice how these are connected. Three is congruent to two and two is congruent to six. Therefore, angle three is congruent to angle six. So it was important that we listed this in the correct order to link step two and step three. If we would have listed step three as angle six is congruent to angle two, we would have had to apply the symmetric property to reverse the order in order to apply the transitive property. And that's pretty much it for the proof of showing that if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent. I hope you found this helpful.